story, that's where it's going to be. Oh, wow. Here I am, live. live. What time is it? I don't even know. So we're just testing this out if you're already on. Um, give me just a minute. We're seeing if we can get this going. Hey, Ebony. Hey, Rachel. Um, thanks, you guys, for tuning in. Um, we are doing Instagram Live today. This is something that my staff has kind of twisted my arm to do because I, I get nervous about talking. I get nervous about the focus being on me instead of um, the caramel and my company. But I want to get to know you guys, and I want y'all to get to know me a little bit. So that's kind of why we're doing this Instagram Live. Um, I see the Army counselors in. Hey, thanks so much for joining us. Um, all of you guys, thank you so much. Hey, uh, so I know we're like a little early, but that's okay. Um, my name is Rain McDermott, and I am the owner of Dallas Carmel Company. Um, I've been kind of the reason we're doing this is so that you guys get to know us, and I want to get to know y'all. I want to know, since we don't have a retail store, you know, you don't get to interact with us quite as often as we'd like, and we don't get to interact with you. So what kind of questions do y'all have? Um, what uh, what do you want to know about me or about this company, about either our products or all that kind of stuff? So that's kind of the thing. So shoot me some questions. Um, please don't be crickets, because <laughs> that'll be really terrible and embarrassing. Um, hey, it's nice to see you guys. I love it, Bucket List and Llama06. Um, so, I am, I'm a pastry chef by trade. I started this, I started making caramel, um, I don't know, 12 or 13 years ago as kind of a fun thing for a friend of mine and it was really good. People loved it, it was cute. Um, and then, a two, so I kept kind of making it a little bit here and there for family and friends. And a couple of years after that, I had a lot of dental work, like a crap ton of dental work done. And my dentist said, you know, no, you can't do, um, Hey, Dobar, uh, my dentist said you can't eat caramel, you can't eat cho or gum, you can't chew gum, all those things. Like, I'm sure we've all been through that. And I just felt like that wasn't fair and there's a better way. Surely caramel can be better. And that's kind of what made me start doing, hey, it's good to see you. Thank you so much for tuning in. It was so good to talk to you yesterday. Oh my gosh, Kiana, thank you so much for that. I really felt inspired after we left yesterday. Um, Anyway, so I just started tweaking a recipe until I got this amazing soft caramel. My husband, who's my husband now, my boyfriend at the time, he really believed in me. He said, we're going to do this. And one day when you have a company, um, we need a caramel of the month club. And so you need a lot more flavors, not just original. And um, so I started working on more flavors and came up with 11 more flavors. So we had 12 flavors. And then my name is Rain, by the way. So sorry, you guys. This is Rain McDermott, and I am owner of Dallas Caramel Company. And I'm just doing a Q&A, so I'm kind of giving y'all a little um, idea of who I am. But ask me questions. Please ask me about my company. Ask me about my products. Um, ask me what it, about me, whatever it is you want to know. Um, yes, okay, so we've got Rachel asking about the Carmel of the Month Club. Um, yes, you can and should be a fan of, or a member of this. We offer three-month, six-month, and 12-month um subscriptions. You can do a half pound, a one pound, um, I think just a half pound and one pound. And every month we have a featured flavor. So we just send you a box of caramel, whatever that featured flavor is. And it's a great way for you to have some caramel to share with friends, make new friends with the caramel, um, eat it yourself. There is no judgment here. And just get to try all of our flavors. It's great gifts for clients. If you have a client um, and you just want to send them a three month Thing, just to let them know that you're thinking of them each month. We handwrite the cards. If it's to your mom, um, because she is your mom, like she deserves some caramel. If it's your sister, she's just like going off to college and she needs a little bit of home. It's a great way to do all that stuff. Um, so it's really great. It's on our website. Check it out. My favorite flavor is lemon meringue by far. Like that is the jam. Orange, chai, chocolate. Those are my backup flavors. I love all of those. Um, so... <laughs> the dough bar says so glad to see you live she knows I'm not a fan of putting myself out there like this so um, thank you for being here for that supporting me in that um, you can buy our caramels so Sean Bone wants to know where can I buy your caramels 
You can order online. That's the best place to do it. You can order online. We'll ship it right to your house, right to your office. You can come by our warehouse in Wiley. You can pick them up. There are stores across the Metroplex that carry us. There are stores nationwide, and they're listed on our website. Um, so our website is dallascaramelcompany.com. Um, the locations tab, and just type in your zip code. Hopefully it's working, and um, all the space, places will pop up. If you aren't getting nothing answers or information there, give us a call. Our 800 number is 1-800-535-9805. In the Dallas-Fort Worth area, let's see, Bradbury Lane, Crave Popcorn, Opening Bell, Cibo Divino, um, the Easy Slider, um, Wild Grace. I know there are others. They'll come up, pop up in my head shortly, if I remember. Um, so if I just shot out a place, it just popped in my head. <laughs> Being put on the spot, I don't always remember all the places. Um, so... Hey, Mrs. Tyler. Is it Mrs. Tyler? Good to see you guys. Thank y'all so much for coming in. Um, what questions do y'all have? Ask me some questions. I want to tell you more about who I am, tell you about my company, tell you definitely about all of our delicious caramel. If you don't know, we make 15 flavors of crazy soft caramel. I create it specifically to not stick to your teeth or braces or dental work. Um, it's melty smooth. It really is really nice. Um, we don't use anything artificial, so all of our flavors are very natural. We've got an orange caramel. I mentioned that earlier. is one of my favorites. We zest the oranges. We squeeze that juice into it, and then we use a little bit of orange oil. So it's very mellow, but spot on. Um, bacon caramel. Y'all, this is June, by the way, and bacon is our flavor of the month. So we fry up a whole bunch of bacon, chop it up, and dump it in, and all that bacon grease and all the things that make bacon good makes this even better. Now, my husband always tells me to not say that, the bacon grease part, because he thinks it freaks people out. But I feel like... Um, I feel like that that, like if people like bacon, they're gonna like that grease part. So I'm gonna tell you that anyway. Let's see, what did you use the flour in your chocolates? I don't know what flour you're talking about. We don't use flours. Um, so ask me that again. What flavor are you talking about? Um, maybe I can clarify. Uh, so let's see, the Army Counselor says, um, are you located in states other than Texas? Yes. We are in Illinois, we're in Indiana, we're in Washington State, we're sometimes in Oklahoma, we are in Kansas City, uh, the Missouri, s nope, the Kansas side of Kansas City. Um, I can't think of what other states off the top of my head. We're in like seven states, so um, Pennsylvania, we're there too. Um, and hopefully we're growing. So if you have like a favorite shop in your state and we would be perfect there, like send me a message and let me know where. We'll reach out to them for sure. Um, let's see. Besides lemon meringue, what's my favorite product? Ooh. Up until two weeks ago, it would be the horn toads. Like that is my jam. I love those horn toads. I know they're not the most popular, but they're delicious. Um, but maybe it's the caramel sauce. If y'all didn't know, we are doing a soft launch of our caramel sauce. Um, this is <laughs> way too long in the making, so that's terrible. But it's out, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the past. It's where you're going from here, and we're going to the caramel sauce. So we've got this beautiful caramel sauce. All orders right now, um, over $49, you get a small little two ounce caramel sauce. It also happens to be in our Father's Day box. Get a four ounce jar in the Father's Day box, but this caramel sauce, you can do everything with it. Like it's great on um, obviously ice cream. It's good in coffee. It's really good on my yogurt. Um, I've mixed it in with my peanut butter instead of honey. I like the caramel sauce with that. Um, so yeah, the that's I would say caramel sauce is my new favorite product. Um, although the pretzels, like I eat one of those every day, so those are really good too. I don't know. Can you make a dry fruit chocolate? I don't make chocolate. So I'm probably not the person to ask about that. Um, I don't make chocolate. We use some chocolate for some of our stuff, but we don't make a chocolate at all. Um, but they are, there is probably chocolate powder out there. You might want to check with some local chocolatiers. Some, there's some really great chocolatiers in Dallas to check with them on that. Uh, what's the last day to order for Father's Day? I believe it is tomorrow, Tuesday, the 11th. Yes, Tuesday the 11th is last day. 
And let's see here. Is this caramel sauce, sauce, sea salt caramel? No, not yet. Uh, right now, it's just original. Next month, we will have original as well as cinnamon. And then we'll, each month has a featured flavor of caramel and we're going to try to match that flavor in sauce each month as well. So for example, um, August sea salt is our flavor of the month, which means it's on sale, but we'll also have a sea salt caramel sauce then. So stay tuned for that one, um, Army Counselor. Thank you for that. Um, let's see, oh, so Father's Day boxes, back to that. We've got a Father's Day box. And if y'all haven't seen it yet, it is amazing. Ah! Well, it's still amazing. <laughs> okay, so we've got a two of our armadillo turtles, which are the number one thing we sell by leaps and bounds. Um, these are really great for dads, especially. Um, so armadillo turtles, they're amazing. Got a cute pair of socks. I mean, like we all want our dads to be kind of stylish and mine is a little older. He's not always as stylish, but he like, he has a thing about socks. And so this kind of inspired me. He kind of inspired me to have the socks in there. They're really cute, they're striped. They're great for dress socks. They're good for casual socks. Um, they're fun. And then we've got three caramel dip pretzels, which again, I mentioned earlier, they're really like the perfect snack at any time. You get one, they're all dipped in sea salt caramel. They're all dipped in chocolate. So we've got one in white chocolate and then these two are in um, dark, a sweet dark chocolate. And um, one's rolled in toffee and one's striped. And then we've got our four ounce caramel sauce. The, the label is still in progress, so don't judge that too harshly, but you get that four ounce caramel sauce in there too. So this is our Father's Day box, it is $35. You should totally get your dad one because dads don't get enough love, you guys. I, like they just don't get enough love. Y'all need to give your dad some more extra love. Um, let's see here, can you use jellies in your chocolates? You can use jelly in chocolate. We could use jelly probably in caramel. I've not ever tried it. I've thought about trying um, like making a peanut butter and jelly caramel, but I don't wanna bring peanuts into our warehouse because that, um, you know, people got peanut allergies and then that changes the whole aesthetic or environment. We are a peanut free facility right now, but jelly, we could totally swirl that into the caramel after it's been cooked. So that would be a really, that's a really great idea. That might be my next new flavor. Um, so thank you for that. That's a good idea. I, uh, I'll think about that. Thank you very much. Um, let's see what else. Anybody else have any questions? Let's see. Oh, so the army counselor says she loves the boxes. Are the socks the same design or will they be different styles? They're all stripes, but they're different color stripes. So we've got some that with the orange and some have got the red, some have got green. So it's kind of a crapshoot. If you have a specific color choice, you can ask us, we'll do the best we can. Um, we get just like a random mix of them. So it's kind of what it is. So they're all striped, but not the same colors. Let's see, do you have any advice for someone looking to start their own company? Oof. Um, be comfortable with risk for sure. It's, it's risky. Um, you have to be really comfortable with taking risk. Um, you've got to believe in yourself. Like you have to believe that you can do this. Not everyone's going to believe in you all the time. They just aren't. And people unintentionally are going to, um, stomp on your dreams, not intending to stomp on your dreams. They're just going to, and um, you have to believe that your dreams are bigger than all that, all that noise that's out there. Um, that's probably the the thing that is most discouraging sometimes. Um, is as you start to grow, the people in your area, in your circle, your family, your friends, again unintentionally, they um, they kind of want to keep you at their level, and so when you start to grow and be really awesome. It scares them and they're not sure how to support that or you you like are just venting about a rough day or your employees or whatever that is and people see that as you complaining and they're like oh well then quit that come back you know don't do that anymore they don't understand that sometimes you just need to vent you know um, the other biggest challenge would be make sure you have a crap ton of money like a crap ton of money it is so expensive to start you just don't even know all the things that will come up and it's even if you've got a crap ton like have a double crap ton. <laughs> it is really expensive payroll is expensive um, all your supplies are expensive marketing is expensive and if you have an actual store oh my gosh then you've got that big rent um, so the two things I would say is be very comfortable with the risk believe in yourself so that's three things I lie and then have a crap ton of money um, 
there's a, such a market for so many things out there that it's amazing. Um, and even if there's like a market for other caramel people, other car caramel tears. I don't know if I'm a caramel tear, but I'll call myself one. Um, so everybody has their thing. You know, not every customer, not everybody's my customer. Um, my flavors don't hit the right note for everybody. My price point isn't for everybody. So there's room for everything. So don't assume that just because someone is doing it, that you can't do it. You do it different. You have your own way of doing it. So I highly encourage everyone to jump off that cliff if you can be, um, if you can be comfortable with that risk. Kind messages for everyone. Hello, hey, it's so nice to see you guys. Thanks for joining in. Detroit Caramel Company, Caramel with a K, interesting. I'd love to know why you do it with a K, just to be different. Um, tell me why. Um, where do we get your chocolate in India? Oof. Um, currently, no chocolate, is no caramels are available in India. Um, but message us directly and we'll see if we can't do that. We have people um, that take them to family and friends as they travel. Uh, we haven't opened up for international sales yet, but we do expect to open for international sales next year. So if you can wait just a few more months, check back with us because um, I'd love to get some out there to India for you. Um, I'd love for you to see what our caramel, our candy, is kind of like. It's very different, for sure. I think you'd like it, though. I really do. Um, let's see what else. Oh, I know. Detroit Caramel Company reminded me of that. Um, people always ask me, maybe Detroit Caramel Company, pipe up and let me know, do they ask you how to pronounce caramel? Like, is it caramel or is it caramel? Obviously, I keep saying caramel. It is caramel as far as I'm concerned. Um, when I first started, people asked me that question all the time. They still actually ask all the time. And my answer in the beginning was that it's caramel, obviously, because I make it and that's what I say, so that's how it is. But that's maybe not the <laughs> most appropriate answer. So I looked it up. Um, how does, uh, oh, okay, let me get back to that. Hold on just a second, kind messages. Um, I looked up, I Googled how to pronounce caramel, or C-A-R-A-M-E-L, and they're like, I don't know, 12 or 13 videos of people saying caramel, 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 caramel. Not si one single video of someone saying caramel. But that was four or five years ago. And I looked it up a couple months ago, same thing. Not a single caramel video. So you people that feel strongly about caramel, y'all go on and make your own video. But until then, it's caramel. Now, I will say, if you're going to give me some money for it, if you're going to buy it, you can call it whatever you want to call it. It's cool. All right, on to the next one. Weird question. Does your company have a theme song? I feel like maybe you know us, and I don't know that you know us. We don't have an official theme song. There is a weird song out there, um, and it's, oh, I don't, it's kind of weird. It's about caramel. Um, so that would be our un unofficial theme song. I'll have to look it up, and I'll let you know what that is. Um, it's, it's kind of weird. So technically, no, but unofficially, those of us here in the back, yeah, we do know, um, have a theme song. But no one approves of it. It's not. It's probably not appropriate. I should say that. Um, why can't you establish your chocolate company in India? Well, I, we don't use artificial ingredients. We don't use any preservatives. So it does have a shelf life. It has a shelf life of, like its best by date is eight weeks. And so for us to make it, get it wrapped up, send it over there, y'all don't have a lot of time to enjoy it while it's still like, Beautiful and perfect. Um, <laughs> oh, Wiley the Beach Less, stop it. Uh, <laughs> so because we've got a short shelf life and I can't control it once it gets out of our hands, I'm worried that if we shoot, if we mail it to India on a regular basis, it won't get sold fast enough for it to stay nice and fresh. And that's really important to us is to have a really good fresh product. Um, and... I just, I don't know why, I guess we haven't found anybody in India that would be willing to carry us. So, hey, if you know somebody that would, um, maybe a good shop there, shoot us an email um, or reach out to us via direct message. So email could be info at dallascarmelcompany.com. Send, like, reach out to me. My name is Rain, R-A-I-N. Send me an email. Let's let's talk about that a little bit more because I think that um, your interest is piquing my interest in that. Um, Wiley Devishla, <laughs> you're adorable. 
Chocolate Rain is not a theme song for a caramel tear. It would be if I had sold chocolate and I don't. And that's an appropriate song too. All right, moving on. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Do you know the song, Chocolate Rain, Kind Messages for Everyone? Have you heard that song? Like it's a mess. If the guy is weird, it's a whole weird song. Um, but I will say that the caramel song is probably just as weird and inappropriate. So <laughs> there's all that. We'll work on a better theme song that we can publicly share and be proud of. Um, although that song, I Want Candy, like I love that song. Um, that's probably the only one off the top of my head I can think of. Um, let me see what else. Oh, so this month our featured flavor is bacon. We fry up a whole bunch of bacon, chop it up, dump it in. Um, I would encourage you guys to get it. It's on sale. So every month, whatever our featured flavor is, we put it on sale. So it's on sale for a half pound is $12 instead of 15. And a one pound bag is on sale for $21, which is a steal. So you should definitely scoop some of that up before this month is up. Um, also, if you didn't catch it earlier, all orders over $49 this month, you get a small little two ounce jar of our caramel sauce. We want everyone to try it. Um, give us your feedback on that. Let me know what you think. Um, what else? Um, are you on our email list, by the way? We send out an email once a month. We don't spam you. We might start changing it twice a month, but really once a month we send an email out and it tells you all the places that you can find um, us, like pop-ups, events, farmer's markets, things like that. Any new flavors we have or whatever our featured flavor is, any new products that we have, so like our caramel sauce or other things we might launch this summer. Um, and then any specials, like maybe it's free shipping, maybe it's buy one, get one free. I don't know, you need to subscribe to find out. Again, it's usually the first Tuesday or Wednesday of the month that we send that out, so we don't we don't harass you, but you should all sign up. So go to our website, dallascaramelcompany.com, and um, anywhere on there, like lots of different options for you to sign up for the email, but sign up for an email. We can send you good stuff. Plus, our Tip Tuesdays, you get a little heads up on the Tip Tuesday, so if you have received our email, then you know what that tip is. It's coming out tomorrow, so y'all stay tuned for that. Tip Tuesdays are really cool. We take our caramel and we do stuff with it. So like if you happen to have extra caramel lying around, I'll say shame on you if you do. But if you do, that's cool. These are ways to use it. And tomorrow's tip is out of control. Like, it's out of control. You just need to pay attention, you'll see. Trust us, try it, try it, try it, try it. Buy a bag of caramel, buy a bag of bacon caramel. I'm gonna just tease it now. Buy a bag of bacon caramel, and like get ready, get ready to make this recipe because it's amazing. Okay, um, but in India, I can earn more money, all right? I like money, I mean, I'm not a charity, so I'm all about capitalism, let's make some money. Send me that email, for sure, send me that email. Um, let's see, I don't have any idea what time it is. Um, I don't know if we should keep going. Anybody else have any other questions? Has anybody tried the caramel sauce yet? Anyone tried it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Suggestions? Any flavor suggestions? Anybody have any ideas for other flavors that we might make? Um, or events, pop-ups, stores that might carry us? All those things. Tell me. Talk to me. Um, let's see here. Um, so, unless I see some more questions come up, I'm going to tell you all this last story. It is a very personal story. Um, and then I will get out of here and we'll plan to see you again some other time. Um, Ah, uh, whiskey caramel sauce. Yes. The drunken nut will definitely have to be a caramel sauce. You're right, Sean Bone. Um, we will do that. So thank you for your suggestion. We were already thinking about that, but um, we, we're doing it. Don't worry. No worry about that. So a story. This is, um, I can't even believe I'm going to tell you this story. But when I was in 10th grade, uh, <laughs> it was my job, my summer job, my job, um, to mow lot, lawns, and I mowed all the yards, not all of them, but a lot of the yards around my neighborhood. And there was one day, hey guys, thank you so much for joining us. There is one day, so if y'all have questions, by the way, shoot them over to me. Um, if you have questions about our Carmel, our company, or me, shoot me a question, let me know what's on your mind. That's why we're doing this today, so you guys can kind of get to know us a little bit, and I can understand better what y'all want and need from us as a company. Um, so back to my story. Uh, anyway, so I'd been laying out all day, and um, my dad and I wanted to go to a concert that night. And my dad told me, told me I had to go mow this final yard before I did that. And I so I had on my bathing suit, and it was one of those cute little neoprene bathing suits that zipped up the front. 
So I threw on a pair of shorts, no shoes, just ran down and to mow the yard. And we have had an electric lawnmower. Um, it was not a gas mower, so electric, which means there's a cord, right? So I'm almost done with this yard, and I'm to like the last, I don't know, two strips that I have to do. And it came unplugged because it was wrapped around something. So I went back and I plugged in the um, lawnmower. And I came back down and I grabbed on, you know, to finish the mowing. And all of a sudden, there was a, must have been a short someplace. I don't know what it was, but it electrocuted me. And I mean, like, I could have gone to see Jesus that day. It was crazy. It was really, really hard. Um, this, like, current that went through me. And I couldn't let go. And so I'm screaming and I'm screaming. All I know is what's happening, like what I'm feeling. I don't know how loud. I feel like I wasn't screaming loud enough because no one's come to save me like that very second. But my fingers gripped even tighter and my hair is just like standing up on end. Felt like I had been screaming forever. And then someone, um, I just feel this like, I don't know, this pressure against me. And my neighbor had heard me screaming and he comes, he was playing, he played football for Plano East at the time. And he comes and just like tackles me to get that current, get the connection lost. And I'm like laying down and um, like all the electric current is going through me. And as I tell this, like I'm not telling it to you the way I normally tell it, but like, I'm like, you know, all these crazy currents running through me. The ambulance shows up and of course, like all the neighborhood could, neighborhood kids start coming by and they um, are watching. And this dude that I had a huge crush on from like first grade, I was in 10th grade, First grade, I had this crush on. He's there, and the, if you remember back, I told you that the neoprene bathing suit like zipped up the front. So the ambulance gets there, and um, they strap me in, and they're like starting to do these, run these tests on me, and they unzip this, my bathing suit and just like open it up, and it was awful. And like this kid that I like was in, had his biggest crush on, he's watching this whole thing, and it was awful. Then they get me into the ambulance and get me to the hospital. In the meantime, my mom had called my dad. And my dad called our pastor and they, um, the pastor shows up at the hospital and like they're running me in the gurney naked through the hospital. And my pastor is like, this was, I don't even know how many years ago, 30 years ago. He's trying to like pray for me. And at the time, like he really believed in the power of prayer and like, you know, hands, hands on people, the power of prayer just flows through. And so he's trying to find a place to touch me, to pray for me. And like, I'm naked. And so it's inappropriate to touch me anywhere. So he like grabs onto my big toe. It was so funny. Um, anyway, I used to cane for the next couple of days at school and it was a mess. And then I became as a lawn, known as a lawnmower girl until two years later, I became known as the carrot girl. And you'll just have to stay tuned for that story another time. So guys, thanks so much for joining us. We are Dallas Carmel Company. We are located technically in Wiley, Texas, just north of Dallas. We are online. We do 15 flavors of caramel, crazy soft caramel. We don't use anything fake in our flavors. Um, you should try them all. We've got some amazing, amazing flavors. We've got caramel turtles. We've got caramel pretzels, we've got caramel apples, caramel dipped Oreos. Um, and our caramel sauce is officially going to launch at the end of this month in a nine ounce jar. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'd love to know more about you guys. So reach out to me, um, send us any questions that you have, all that kind of good stuff. And I hope you guys have a really great week. It's Monday. So make it a great week. It's, you just have to, some days it's hard to push through that stuff, but just, you know, wake up with intention to have a great week and don't listen to the naysayers out there. Thanks again. We'll talk to you guys later. Thank you.